It's been a while since I've uh, talked to Huddle. Last time I did, they were four employees. Now they're like something like 300 employees. Um, they build a, a, a file sharing and collaboration system, and we're going to see it right now. It's called Huddle. Who are you? So hey Robert, it's great to be here. Uh, my name is Alastair Mitchell and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Huddle. Yeah, we, we had a chat a, a few years back. You've been uh, in business, what, a, a five? five, six years? Yeah, we've been busy guys since we met. Um, we, I think I was telling you earlier, we put a sticker on you, one of your, first, you know, one of your early tripods for your cameras in the UK. Yeah. I think it was at a Le Web, like a very early Le Web in France, right, in yeah. Paris. I think that was it. Since then we've been busy. So. Uh, I'm here now, I'm British, we're a British company, but we're taking the world by storm, we hope. Um, <laughs> so we founded out of London, you know, that's when you met us, yep. Le Web, and uh, that was five, six years ago. We set out with a mission to, you know, change the world of file sharing collaboration in the enterprise, make cloud a reality, and that's what we're doing here now. So it's for, good to be. for people who don't know uh, what Huddle is, who is this for? Right, so Huddle is it's an enterprise file sharing collaboration tool, right? Yeah. Um, our mission is to destroy the world of traditional enterprise software, right? Like SharePoint. Like SharePoint, you know, you name, name the thing that everyone loves to hate, Microsoft, right? But we genuinely do it, right? If you've got a SharePoint problem, we're here to help. That's yeah. what we do, right? So if you are looking, if you've got 10,000 people in your business and you are thinking, how am I going to get my teams, my people working as easily as they can do on Facebook, but in my business, in the enterprise, how do I do that? That's what Huddle does, okay. right? So it's, it's called Huddle for a reason, it's collaboration. Now there's a lot of co uh, companies that are trying to do that, you know, whether it be Podio, which now I, uh, I forget what, who Citrix, bought them. Citrix, I think, Citrix, them. Yeah. 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 or uh, Salesforce Chatter, yep. or uh, yep. even Box.net, which yep. is sort of your consumer frenemy, or whatever yeah. you call yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so why, why you? Why, why not one of those other companies? Because well, there's so many different convos out there trying yeah. to pitch us. Yeah, yeah look, there's a, there's, I think the reason there's so much activity in this space, which is going nuts at the moment, is because it's so badly broken, right? Um, it is just such a painful process in most big companies to share stuff and work together. You know, we're still using old versions of Internet Explorer, Outlook, a shared drive, and people are hacking the system, right? People are. Oh, I'm going to use Dropbox, I'm going to use this cool tool, I'm going to use this, that, and the other, and I'm going to use you know, pen drives, you know, USB yeah. pen drives, just to hack the system to get their jobs done. And so people like us, people like Box come along, and, and Box and us are like best of frenemies, right? You know, I was telling this story earlier, right? You know, you know it's, it's like we're just trying to chew with two little minnows in this huge ocean trying to beat up on the big blue whale that is all the terrible software in the middle, right? And people like us come along and, and users start using Huddle in their organization. They, they, they don't start, they use it like a verb, like, hey, let's Huddle, don't email it, don't put it in a shared drive, let's Huddle it. And, and boom, sooner or later, you've got five, 10,000 people in this organization using this tool, and we can start to replace the legacy software, and we've earned the rights to do it, right? Now, there's a lot of people doing it. You know, the big old guys are trying to change, and say, no, no, use us, we've changed. And we're the new guys going, no, they haven't changed, use us. And the proof of the pudding is in growth, right? You know, we, um, we're, the, the companies in us, the disruptors are growing so fast, like faster than we ever imagined. We did our biggest month in August, our biggest ever month in September, and now we're on, what, day seven? the new month and we've done our biggest ever month by day seven wow. it's just going and it's off the back of you know companies 10,000 20,000 people going no we're going to go all the way to huddle and you know I was with Sega right just now brilliant I grew up on Sonic the Hedgehog right one yeah. of our favorite customers here in the Bay Area um, and they use huddle globally and they they were in the meeting and, and their CTO went hey what about our shared drives you know do we not and the guys were said we don't use those anymore we stopped using them a year ago when we started using huddle because they just don't, and, and what about email? Oh, we stopped, you know, we, we, we've done half our, they worked out that 15,000 actions that would have gone on email in the last month actually went through Huddle. Wow. So it's, it's this transformation, it's people saying, look, I've, I'm, I've used this stuff in my social lives for a couple of years and now I want to use it in, in my business. Can, can we see it and then maybe talk about how much it costs and how yeah, you absolutely. monetize yeah, it? Yeah, that's the best thing, don't take my word for it, right? <laughs> so um, first of all, this is, this is the homepage, this is what you go to see. And, and, and right out of the box, it doesn't look like enterprise software, right? This is, this is enterprise software as you would want to use it, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're making people heroes. We're doing file sharing and collaboration. Um, we're solving some big issues. And, and, but, but it's not us. It's the big analyst houses. Though. People like IDC, who you know, are very important to enterprise buyers, are saying, coming out right out and saying, as they said, uh, Huddle is the leading enterprise file sharing collaboration tool. It's light years ahead of SharePoint and Huddle has the opportunity to do it. So it's, it's, uh, you know, it's great to get that sort of validation. 
Um, that's what you'll find on our website. But what does it look like? Well, um, this is, I probably shouldn't be doing this because this is kind of my version of Huddle, right? So this is, this, is, this is what a Huddle dashboard looks like, right? And straight out of the box, you think, hey, this doesn't look like a kind of an enterprise bit of software. This kind of looks like a social collaboration tool. It's got yeah. an activity stream, it's got tasks, it's got files that I need to approve, it's got my, my profile up here, it's got a nice search. Um, and right out of the box, you're getting activity streams. I'm seeing who am I working with, what am I doing? Um, Suze, who works in our marketing team here in, in the US, she's, she's added this um, creative file for us. Um, if I click on this file, I can see that um, product, that, that item, it's a, at this point it's an Excel um, uh, spreadsheet, it's online, it's visible on here. If I'm viewing it on this thing, my phone, I can see it you know, here. Um, here we go, look, here it is, it's previewed right here in, in the browser. Um, if I'm working on Excel, I can just pop it open. So these are all the work going on, right? Mm -hmm. Notice I haven't ever opened Excel. Right? Yeah. So I don't have to have the old office suite on here. I'm just working on this tool. Um, if I want to open an Excel, I can open it, hit save, and boom, it's saved back in the cloud. Yep. Right? That's the point. We're, not, we're taking people away from legacy software on this thing, and we're moving into the cloud. You know, I just have to work in, in Huddle, hit save, it's saved. And then when I get on the plane, Huddle's figured out that I save it onto my device, and boom, I can save it. Do you have apps there. then, or are you a web page? Uh, uh, no, web fully page. app enabled. So here's the okay. important thing, right? So um, we, we think of a day, I, we, we look at a day when this thing, this, 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 this laptop is yeah. going to be gone, right? The, the idea that we have to have local storage, you know, a C drive, the, the, the idea that I have to have my docs and my, my images, my files, that we'll look back on this day and laugh, not long, like two years away, yeah. because we'll think, hang on, all I need is something like my, my device, my, my phone, which is basically a thin client connected to the cloud. Very little storage, right? Yep. All the compute is done in the cloud. The cloud yep. is my computer. Yep. Well, why can't this be like this? Why can't my, my beautiful, as it is, Apple Mac be like that? So what we do is we say, well, look, you just work in Huddle, even so a browser work, and app, and it just plugs into the cloud. It's directly plugged in. The cloud is where I'm doing all my work. You probably work great on a Google Chromebook. Yeah, yeah. Chromebooks, you know, any, any mobile device, you know, Android, whatever. Um, but it, but it does some cool stuff because it's not just about ease of access. You know, the first generation of our industry made was cloud storage, right? We said, hey, don't store yep. your stuff locally, store it in the cloud. But everyone does that now, and that doesn't add value to a company because storage is cheap, it's commoditized. What, what companies, organizations, government use is they care about this collaboration because if you've got 10,000 people, they're working together. Yep. The hard stuff, number one, is finding the information you need. Yep. And the other thing is working in a team because you might be working in a team with people in the UK, the US, Japan, like Sega do. Yep. So it's about how do people find and share and work on that information really simply. And that's where these devices, mobile devices, come in so powerful because we all work on these devices now, right? I don't want to store stuff locally. I want to get on a plane and know, go into my board meeting and know that Huddle has downloaded the most useful document onto my device already. I haven't had to sync it. I haven't had to think about it. It's just on here. And then when I get on the plane, I make some changes. I comment. I say, yeah, I, I approved this. Hit save. And when I get off the plane, Huddle syncs back up to the cloud <coughs> and tells all my team about it. Can you message inside Huddle with each Absol other? Yeah, absolutely. So you're not going through the email infrastructure, you're no. going straight Huddle, Huddle. No, it's, it's Huddle to Huddle. So, mm -hmm. and, but if you are on email and I get an alert about it and I hit reply, it saves it alongside the document in Huddle. Yeah. So the whole point is here is we're taking workload off email and centralizing it in one place. So if you email me a PowerPoint deck and I'm on Huddle, it'll put it inside yeah. Huddle? It doesn't even call on that. Let's say we're on 15 people chatting about a PowerPoint deck. And one of us goes, look, stop this madness. Let's get it in Huddle. We one click from our email client, in, it'll save in a Huddle. It'll drag um, all, the, all the emails, let's say the 50 emails with comments. It'll take those emails and put them in Huddle alongside the document as a comment. It'll strip out out of office. It'll strip out, you know, um, do not replies, you know, all that stuff. And even better than that, it'll figure out that two of the people on the email chain weren't in Huddle and it'll invite them into Huddle. So boom, we've just, we've just taken our email and put you into Huddle. That's the cool stuff we're doing. Right? Wow. So this is transforming the way people work, right? And what we see in the last year is just a huge explosion of this stuff in the enterprise. People have said, hey, I've, I've, my team's been experimenting with it for two years. You know, small teams, kind of this yeah. new cloud stuff. But hey, I'm the CEO, let's go. You know, I want everyone on this tomorrow. And so we've just seen this explosion of growth. And the most exciting thing is because when we set out to build Huddle five, six years ago, I, I built it because we tried, I spent three million, I was in another startup before this, but this became a big business. It's now um, been bought by a very large retailer and it was in marketing intelligence. So we're doing stuff on the web and I was running a whole web product team. And I said, hey, we need, we need to work in a new way and we need to use a, an IT system to do that and we need to share information. And we rolled out SharePoint because six years ago, that was kind of the new thing, right? Yep. 
And we spent three million bucks on it and it was a disaster. The whole thing was a disaster. It took us six months to do. It cost us three million bucks. By the time we'd implemented it, people, what people wanted from it changed and everyone was using different tools. Yeah. And I vowed never to do that again and be that there was a better way to do things. And that's why we started Huddle. So the cool thing for us now is when customers come to us and say, we tried it two years ago, we've been using it, we've been piloting it, and now we're running Huddle across our entire business. Everyone's huddling and it's transformed the way we work. And that's, that's the magic for us. What's it like? Because uh, you know, when I last met you, you yeah. were like four employees. Yeah, it's you know, had a little, to be back. Had yeah. a little booth at Love Web, yes. and now you're like taking on the world. We were sweet little guys, you know, doing our thing. Did you have any idea? No, we had no idea. I think yeah. what's been so exciting, we knew we were solving a big problem, but when you're a startup, as, as the people you interview in this chair every day know, it's, it's all about execution, right? And you could have an amazing idea in a huge industry, but actually making, getting everyone to understand your idea and use it is, is a totally different concept. Yeah. So we've been on this amazing journey, and you know, if you'd said to me we'd be back here in four or five years' time talking about the customers we've now got, or if you told me that the US Department of Defense would be using Huddle, or 80% of the UK government, or Disney, or LinkedIn, or you know, Beats by Dre, you know, brands that I love and know, and Sega, all using Huddle, and not just in teams, but actually their whole organization using it. In the way that we imagined five years ago, I would have you know, bought you a beer, right? You know. what, what kind of challenges came up in, since I last saw you that you probably weren't expecting? Because you're growing now, you're trying to keep, build a culture and yeah, keep it's, people. Uh, we're in different t- challenges, right? Yeah. So now people are using Huddle, it's, it's about growth, right? I mean, one of the challenges we've had is we're British, right? So we are, we started in the UK. You talk a little funny. Uh, I talk, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Most people say I'm Australian, right? So, you know, I'm not Australian or New Zealander. Um, uh, but we're not, but we, but we started in the UK, right? So yeah. the UK is a smaller market. It, it's um, 60% of the world's software market is here in, in North America. So just not being the incumbent is, is you know, is, is a big one. Um, so you're moving to San Francisco? That's part of it. I'm here now, right? So I've done the move. I live in Marin um, over on the water. It's beautiful. Like, you know, I love the weather. It certainly beats London weather. Um, so one of the challenges is international, right? The second one is, um, is, are you too early or too late for your market? You know, is, do you have, are you solving a real problem that people want to change? Because quite often startups come on and we, they solve a problem, but it's one that no one really wants to solve. And certainly in our first two years, we were educating the market. You know, it was us saying, hey, this is going to happen. You're going to want to move off your existing kit and you're going to end up hating it and you're going to want to use something in the cloud like Huddle. And then as us have started to become successful, as people like Box have become successful, as, as people like Dropbox have done it in the consumer space, yeah. everyone is now saying, no, this is a problem we want to solve and we want to spend real money to solve it now and it gives us huge benefits. And that's been the biggest thing, moving from kind of evangelizing like you do for so many yeah. great new areas to actually a real market. Yeah. And then as you grow and as you start to be a bit more successful and you have the benefits and the blessings of working with these amazing customers, then we've got four offices now. You know, we have a great collaboration tool called Huddle, right? But that doesn't solve the fact that we're eight hours time zone away from people in London. Yeah. You know, we've got people working in DC and they have a very work, different working culture to people on the West Coast here. So yeah, yeah, it's all about culture. It's about team. It's about building, hiring amazing people, all the good stuff. But that, frankly, that, um, if you'd asked me again five years ago, say, would you r- rather have the challenges of culture and building a great team in four different locations or having a product in a market, I would have said, you know, <laughs> let's have the problems of scale. So that's the exciting bit. Yeah. Um, but it, no, it's, it said it's great to be here. So yeah. Uh, um, great. Uh, tell me, uh, how much does it cost to use it? Right. So um, let's go back to the web page. You know, Rackspace um, has almost 6,000 employees now. So. Yeah, absolutely. And they're, you know, they're a customer new user, right? So, you know, so um, what, what's so good about Huddle is it's, it's classic cloud benefit, right? So it's, it's pay to play, scaling it as you want. So you can have 25 users, you can have 2,500, you can have 25,000, as our biggest customers do, and you're paying for what you use. So it's pure cloud, it's a, it's a subscription, right? And it's about 20 to 40 bucks per person per month starting out, and then obviously it gets cheaper as you buy more. Yeah. But the point is about Huddle is, you can be spending, you know, for, for a 25,000 person organization using Huddle, they'll be spending a third to all in on Huddle as they would have been spending on their previous tools. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're not just a better service, but we're saving you money. Yeah. But the big thing is, I think everyone, um, I, I like cloud, it's a great term, but I actually prefer software as a service, mm-hmm. as a term, which was the, the term before, and then before that it was you know, on demand or ASP, you know, you, you know, we've been around, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I actually prefer software as a service, and I prefer it as a term because what you buy when you buy real cloud tools, like salesforce.com, like Huddle, you know, you're buying a service, you're not buying software. Right. And I think people miss that out. And so we have some really unique things is 
when people are switching away from a really terrible experience they've had with something like SharePoint, they want to know, I'm going to spend maybe millions of dollars on this thing for my whole organization. Yep. This better not screw up, right? This has to work and I want to know it's going to work and I can't be a, cause a problem for my users anymore. So what, what about Huddle is a service, right? And we guarantee our service to the point where actually if you don't get 100% adoption of your teams on Huddle, we'll give you your money back. We're, we're the only people we know of to do this. That's how confident we are. So if you say, Ali, here's a thousand people, I want you to use Huddle. This is a big test for us for six months. I'll say, if you don't get all a thousand people using it and loving Huddle in the first six months, I'll give you your money back. And that's huge, right? And that's the way in which the cloud- Have you ever had to do that? Never. Well, if I did, I wouldn't tell you, right? No, <laughs> but no sure. No, but listen, it's, no, honestly, we work so hard because yeah. the thing about software as a service, and that's why I use the term, is you can turn us off. If we're not doing a good job for you, we haven't got a five-year subscription maintenance contract where you bought the servers. You can just turn us off. So yep. your best guarantee is the fact that if we don't do a good job for you, just turn us off. And that's why we work so hard for our customers yeah. to do a good job. And that's, that's, why I love, that's why I think it's so transformational. Forces you to be a better aligned with your customer. Absolutely. Right? Every day. That's why software as a service is so great. No, it's, it's awesome. Uh, you're on Android and iPhone? Android and iPhone, all the, all the major um, platforms. We have a debate about Man BlackBerry, all. right? You know. Are you on BlackBerry? Uh, yeah, we do have a BlackBerry app, but unsurprisingly, we haven't updated it in a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, Windows, the world that really uh, at work is mostly a Apple and uh, Android, uh, Android and iOS, right? Yeah. Um, Windows Phone is edging in there a little bit. It is. Bit, in Europe, it's, it's like, edging in. In government, we have a lot of government works. So it's edging in in government and healthcare. And what's, what services. are you seeing as the percentages? Because you, It's you're, still iOS. It's still iOS, but... Um, it's still iOS, but um, Android is creeping in there. Like for, it used to be, uh, when we did a stats about six months ago, 90% of our mobile users in the enterprise were using uh, iOS devices, right? Um, iPads if you're in the exec team, yeah. iPhones like I use, you know. Um, now there is an Android, there is some Windows phone in Europe, especially creeping in, especially in places like government and, and so on, where they've, they've been tied into long maintenance services, but we'll see, right? I mean, yeah. we, you know, we, we will follow our customers. Yeah. Um, the big thing for us is the idea that you can get rid of your old hardware and software. You know, the idea of a VPN, yeah. the idea that I've got to dial into a network, I mean, how crazy is that? Just yeah. log into the cloud and we'll have your information for you. Do you have two-factor authentication yet? Are two you guys yeah, absolutely. So two-factor auth. Um, how many people use that? What percentage of people use that? It's actually a relatively small number. I people, know it is because it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it keeps you a lot more secure. If right? you need it, you need it, right? If you yeah. need it, some companies, it's a must-have, so we provide it. Um, same yeah. with um, you know, uh, single sign-on and active, you know, working with all the, the single sign-on vendors and Active Directory and so on. But the good thing about Huddle is because we work with so many, we work with NASA, the UN, the World Bank, Department of Defense, the, you know, the 80% of the UK government. So the point is, is the first question we get asked by a CIO is, you know, in a private sector, like Disney, you know, says, I'm going to be putting a lot of trust in you to put my information in the cloud. Yeah. Are you safe? First question. Yeah. And we can say, yes, with Huddle, we are the safest, most secure place to store your stuff on the web in an enterprise setting. Right? And that's, that's a big, bold claim, but that's what we do. That's why we have so many very big, important customers. Yeah. So then it goes on to, okay, will my users love it? And the answer is yes, they will love using Huddle. And they will, it'll turn into a verb. And then we go and prove our success. You know, we do the software as a service thing, we give 13 releases a year with you know, new software without even realizing it. Yeah. Um, and that's where we go. It's pretty crazy, huh? It is. It's an, and it's fantastic to be talking to you again, right? So it's thank awesome. you. No, thank well, thank you. you so much for visiting me again and uh, letting me know what's happening in well, five for, years. Yeah, absolutely. A lot can it's change, a, right? <laughs> Another five years, you'll see how to it. So thank you so much for having us back. And no, it's awesome. Delighted to be talking about you know, that's such great ground. Where, where do you think things are going next? Are, you know, cause that, I'm, I've been seeing that wearables and sensors yeah. and bi certainly customers need to know their customers really deeply. I mean, if you're talking about business, Today they don't. Even no. the best customer service organization, even Rackspace, we don't know much about you as a, a, a person, right? Yeah. And we need to know more. And uh, so do our. So does the Ritz. So does General Motors. So does yeah. you know, all these companies. Disney, right? They're yeah, putting little uh, RFID yeah. bands on everybody. Yeah. Right? Are you thinking about that world and where well, you we, might we, shift Huddle in the next five years? Or? Listen, I think, you know, I come from a retail background, which yeah. was all about know your customers, right? So the business we did before was all about marketing data when you walked into a store and used a club card to find out who your customers were. Now, in an enterprise setting, we, we aren't about providing the consumer insight, which are wearables or whatever, but we are about, there is awful lot of information in an enterprise, any business, even a 10-person business, locked up in people's heads on notepads, 
on, on devices that people just don't share. And if you could just get that unlocked and help people to share that information more easily, that's a huge step just for the, the organization. Yeah. And, then, and then you can start to do all the cool, clever stuff. So we're just about getting the basics done, helping people to share and work on information more easily than they ever could do before. And for you know, any company over, we face it in huddle, over 100 people, that becomes tough. So let's start with that. Let's make people's work lives easier. Let's transform the way people can share and work on information. And, and everyone will be more successful because of it. Very cool. Where do I follow you? On, uh, are you on Twitter or Facebook? Yeah, Twitter at Ali Mitchell. I'm on Facebook, um, LinkedIn. You know, you live, we live on the web there nowadays. Yeah. And um, anyone can email me at ali at huddle.com. Very cool. And awesome. we find you at huddle.com? Huddle.com. Very cool. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Great to be here.